Oh, you thought this was a like farewell montage, didn't you? No, no, -uh. you should know me better than that. This thing ain't going anywhere and uh, everything that's been going on with it, why it's been on the back burner and everything is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Uh, we're finally back at it and I finally have an explanation for things I owe it to you guys to finally tell you why the PTGT has been uh, sitting in the background and hasn't had any work done to it or any videos made on it in a little bit now. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Till I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary, I wanna be legendary Let me turn these lights on so we can talk about some important stuff today because there's a lot to talk about and a lot to show you guys. I have gotten a lot of questions and you know, this is the star of the channel. It always has been, been my favorite car and it still is and it, it's been down for quite a while now, like probably a year and there hasn't been a video on it in quite some time either. And I've had a lot of you guys wonder like if I sold it or if I was selling it or if I gave up on the project or what's been going on. We've had a lot of different random experimental videos out recently. A lot of them haven't done as well as I had hoped. Whenever there's any sort of break in uploads, it's usually because I'm trying to figure out things and improve them. An insane amount of mental energy is going into all of the back end kind of stuff. I had a couple videos pretty much like ready and done. Uh, to be made on this car and they didn't end up really coming to light. I still have the footage, it may still be used. You know, I bought my Eclipse, which has been huge for me. Um, I love that car. I didn't expect to have to put the work into it that I did, which was two motors. Um, but you know, I did it. I put the car back together. It runs and drives good now. I drive it all the time. Plan to make more videos on it. I have a video filmed actually that that's going to be coming soon. I decided to do this first because it's it's important to me and important to you guys. My amazing PT Cruiser GT. So if anybody's new to the channel, this is my 2004 PT Cruiser GT SRT4 motor. Had SRT4 motor and turbo um, as it is a GT. Um, I've done a lot to the car over the years, and it's it's like it's been my baby. If you guys have been following for a little bit, you know that last uh, the end of last year, I believe it was, I had an issue where the car had thrown timing because of rodents actually getting down in my timing belt, stuffing nuts down in there, caused it to skip a few teeth on the crank. So we got the plastic shroud loose here for the um, the timing belt. But as I just loosened the shroud, something fell out of it. And I'm pretty sure it was a, like a big corn. Yeah, right here. A squirrel nut. Squirrels yeah. got in there and made it jump timing. Do you see that powder? Yeah, the there's ground powder. up nut. It's ground what up nut. A nut one between. <laughs> just, oh. Dude, that's probably what happened. No way, dude. Yeah. Look dude, right. what the f Car stopped running and uh, decided to pull the motor at that point and do a lot of stuff to the car that has needed to be done, completely refresh the turbo and uh, go through and do everything. I had been debating putting a bigger turbo on it at the time, but I wasn't sure what to do. And then when we finally pulled everything apart, pulled the exhaust manifold off, we realized that there were multiple cracks in it. And that was the reason why I was struggling to uh, keep boost up in this car. Um, it has a Mopar stage one tune. I built a little like uh, boost regulator, vacuum regulator for the wastegate so that we could have like a little boost controller. And even still, you know, I was struggling, having a lot of weird issues where the car would just, the way it was building boost was really weird basically finally found that that was the problem so there were two options i could basically either try to get another exhaust manifold and turbo or or, or fix the current one i could get a different manifold and a different turbo uh like a t3 or t25 manifold and throw a different turbo completely on the car which is what i ended up opting to do in case you haven't seen it this is my new t3 flange manifold and this is a max speeding rods turbo. So it's a it's a really, it's a nice eBay turbo. It's not like a, a nice Garrett ball bearing or anything. It's adrenal bearing. Probably similar in build quality to the stock turbo, but just bigger. This is, I believe the inducer's like 55 and the exducer's 76 or something like that, give or take a few millimeters. It's gonna push a lot more air. Um, we'll probably have it tuned at around 20 PSI or so in its final form, maybe less, maybe more, I don't know. We're gonna be flowing a lot better. It's gonna hit at better RPMs and it's gonna be super fun. So the car would have been running and driving quite a while ago. We were actually planning to get it together, like, like 
barely together and running and driving for a car show earlier this year. The reason we didn't end up doing that was we went ahead and mated the old automatic transmission up temporarily. I've been wanting to get uh, another transmission for it, like a manual and manual swap it to either like a manual GT trans or an NVT350 or an SRT4 neon trans or anything adapted up and get it running with a manual. That's That's been my goal all along and it still was, but I realized that I, I didn't want to wait for a transmission so I decided to throw the auto in temporarily so we could get the car running. And I knew it was gonna be a limiting factor, but at least if we could get it moving around on its own power again, we could go from there. We mated the automatic transmission in with the torque converter and everything, and the transmission was like completely seized up. We literally could not get it to spin no matter what we did. We thought the motor was locked up for a second because we tried to turn it on the crank and, and it was just not moving, but then took the trans back off and we realized that the trans was just locked up. Couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, couldn't figure out, we just started to take it apart and, and nothing obvious was showing up. So I decided to ditch a transmission and just say, it's never going back in the car and it's time to start hunting for a manual transmission. Right around that time, I believe that's when I bought my Eclipse. Um, I had been wanting to get something different as like the daily build for quite some time, I finally had the opportunity to get that car, which was like a dream car of mine. I've always wanted a 2G Eclipse. It was perfect, and I knew it needed to work, but I was like, this will be fun. I can do some small stuff, put it around with it, and it can be another series for the channel. When I bought it, I didn't know that the motor was actually rod knocking. It was barely knocking when I first got it, and it wasn't really like noticeable. I couldn't tell what it was when we like looked at the car. I couldn't tell what was wrong with it. I knew it was gonna need some TLC. You guys saw the videos, but eventually we found out the car was rod knocking and I ended up having to put a ton of time and money into the Eclipse just to get it running as a car that I can drive. Took a lot of time away from the GT. Between that and our business and everything that we're doing now with the flip cars, you've seen some of the cars that we've been working on and, and rebuilding if you've, if you've kept up with the channel at all. Just to name a few, we bought a Ford Fusion, we bought a V10 Audi S6, we bought a BMW, we bought a smart car, which you'll see a video on soon if, if you guys wanna see a video on it, let me know. We've bought a bunch of cars, not only just for content, but for like investment vehicles. You know, it's been a ton of crap on top of the Eclipse and everything that has taken time away from this and uh, the search for a transmission. Ideally, I would get a whole entire parts car so that I could swap over not only the transmission but every other little thing and then figure out um, whether or not I need to like swap PCMs and get that programmed and all that so that it works and I've been keeping my eye out but finding a manual PT Cruiser or manual PT Cruiser anything around here is proving to be a little bit difficult. We haven't had something work out yet. I haven't spent enough time on it yet. As time has gone on and as I've seen the videos and the, and the views and everything decline on the channel, I realized that I needed to spend a lot more time and put a lot more of my creative energy back into the videos and everything because it's been absorbed by a lot of other stuff over this past year, to be honest. I felt more like a, a businessman than a content creator, I guess, if that's a good way to put it. You know, I gotta stay true to myself because I, I've always loved making content. I'm more of a like creatively minded person. I'm weird like that. And you know, it's important to me and for everything for me to make sure that I don't lose sight of that and that I take advantage of that always. Over this past little bit that I haven't put up a video, I've been trying to figure out how to better promote videos and, and get this channel to continue to grow and, and everything. And I've got a lot of ideas and I've got some things that I'm confident will help. And that's a big reason why I think this car has not been finished yet because I've just not been focusing on the channel and the channel is a huge part of this car. So long story short, with the PT Cruiser GT, it needs a transmission and that's it. That's, that's pretty much it. And then we can finish putting it together. And it's very important to me now that I find that and we get that going. Um, this project is is huge huge to me. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them below. This is taking the back burner long enough. I and mean, as the weather gets colder, I want to focus as much time as I can to making that car what I've always wanted it to be. So I'm either going to need to find a parts car or a transmission and all the parts I need. The PT Cruiser GT's manual transmissions were awesome. They were insanely good. They were tough. They would hold up the power. Um, they were to get drag and they were by far the best transmission option for these. But finding one is 
very hard. There's also the NVT350 transmission that was in a lot of like the NAPT cruisers. And it's actually the same transmission that's in my Eclipse, ironically. They weren't known to hold up to too much power or to hold up to banging gears and launching and things, which, you know, makes sense. There are a lot of people that use them in a lot of different like engine swap situations and things, and it would swap into this car fine. And I think for the power levels that I plan to make right out of the gate, that it would be fine. You know, eventually, if we were gonna make big power, we might have to swap it again. There was also the manual transmission that was in the Neon SRT4. Um, that was not as tough as the get track that was in the gts but it probably would be a little bit more stout of an option compared to an nvt 350. the only problem with them is a lot of people are saying that it's hard to find an axle combination that will work uh, or ha having to make custom axles which is expensive i gotta imagine there is a combination of axles or or something that would work i guess we'll just see what i find probably gonna be an nvt 350 unless you know i figure something out i don't know but those are my options and that's what i'm looking at but I'm really excited to finish that series and I know a lot of you guys have wanted to see a manual swap in one of these cars and some videos on one or a video series on it. And that's what I plan to make. I've been really excited to do that for a long time. I've been wanting to do it for a long time and it's about freaking time that I do it. So that's why this car has been gone for so long. It's just because there was kind of a major setback and I've just had too much on my plate and too much trying to figure out on the back end of the channel and with the flip cars and with the Eclipse and with everything going on. Yeah, I appreciate you guys' patience and your understanding. The first thing I wanna do is clean everything out of here. Just got a lot of random parts for it laying here. A lot of dust collected and, and, and cobwebs and whatnot. You gotta clean everything out, clear everything out. I want all this stuff out of here and organized. Get this thing looking a little bit better sitting here and ready to finally get some more treatment. All right, just a little bit of cleaning up later and it already looks a lot better. It makes me feel a little bit better that we were able to get that cleaned up and uh, kind of get things started and get things cleaned up and ready for when we finally do start getting this car finished up in the near future. Thank you. 